Hello everyone, welcome in Crochet Life and Stuff with Deborah. And if you saw the thumbnail, you know what this is. We're choosing some winners, y'all. That's right. A um, little while back, a couple of weeks ago, I did a little taste test on some seasonings that I purchased from Miller Savory, and I'll have him linked again. Um, there was Shebang, and this is mine. Um, the ones that I'm giving away are still wrapped up, okay? This is the OG Original Gangsta, which is quite yummy. And this one is 13 Flames of Fire, which, if you're not used to chilies, will burn your face off. But it's still a really, really nice blend. Um, I told you you had to do some certain things in order to win. For one thing, I didn't say it was a giveaway at the beginning. I just said watch till the end. And I specified watch till the end. Some of you did. Thank you very, very much. Speaking of thank you, I would really appreciate it. If you would hit that thumbs up and you can leave a comment as well. When I pick my winners, congratulate the winners. And if I do choose you as a winner, well, first off, in order to win, like I said in that video, you do have to be a public subscriber. You do have to put a word in or words that I specified in that video. And I'll tell you about that here in a second. Um, and that's pretty much it. I said I'd open this worldwide as long as I'm able to ship you something I'll ship you something. Possibility of up to three winners because there were three different keywords in there. <clears throat> the first one, and I even put this in the description so you would know how to put it in there, was OG. OG, the letters O-N-G, Original Gangsta, because that's what they call it. And uh, yeah, I've actually used a bunch of this already <laughs> on a lot of stuff cooking. The second one was for this, for the shebang, the whole shebang, and I spelled it out, S-H-A-B-A-N-G. Easy peasy, okay? And um, I've actually made some dip with this. Yeah, like a dip for chips. It was so good. So good. And these two are not spicy hot. They're not really hot at all. They're just seasonings that you can use on flipping everything pretty much. I was putting this on sandwiches. I was just kind of going nuts with it. And for this one, the spicy one, I asked you to type the word flames. Okay? So what I have got here is the YouTube random comment picker. Let's see if I can do this. I don't have. A, I, I don't insert the videos or anything. So we're just gonna do this the uh, the point way here. All right. You see that? There's the YouTube random comment picker, and I'm so used to having a touch screen on that one that it's weird. I'm reaching over here for the screen, and that does not actually work over here. So bear with me. New computer. You may have seen this on a haul video. I've got the URL in there already to my video, okay, and uh, I've also checked the box that says filter duplicate users and filter comments based on a specific text. The first one I'm going to choose, like I said in that list, is OG, okay. I'm going to type the letters O and G. I'm going to get YouTube comments if I can hold this and show it at the same time. Number of unique comments, it says 27. Okay. Now I've got to, which way do we scroll for that? They always have the ads popping up in the middle of this. You know, if there were an ad free version of this that they just charge people a small yearly subscription for or something, they would make bank even more than these ads. I'm not even kidding. Because a lot of us would be like, oh, you want $5 for a year's worth of this? Please take my money. Thank you. And we're going to click on the start raffle and pick a winner if I can find my pointer. Pointer, where are you? There it is. And OG, let's see, what came up was Kenyatta Creates. Miss Kenyatta, I'm pretty sure you're publicly subscribed, but I have my old laptop over here to double check just to make my life easier than searching through your subscriptions. Okay. I wonder if it'll let me just search. No, it doesn't let you search that way. Why won't it let you just search the page? Because that would be too easy. All right. Oh, 
they've got to make it difficult, don't they? Oh, she's a, she was one of the first ones to comment. Um, and, yes, she is a public subscriber. She's been subscribed to me for at least five months. Kenyatta, thank you. My email address will be in the description below. Please shoot me an email so that we can get this sorted out and I know where I can send your OG. Okay? Thank you. Now... Let me get it scrolled back up. We're going to change that thing to shabang. We're going to close that notification. I don't have all my settings sorted out yet. It takes forever to get that kind of stuff done. I'm going to get the comments. And, hmm, the amount of unique comments for Shebang was only nine. Looks to me like a bunch of people didn't follow directions. Tis a shame, tis a shame. So you nine folks, I'm going to push, I'll come over here and try to show y'all I'm pushing the start button. Just trying to keep it all the up and up. Okay, the person that came up is Donna Holmberg. Don't remember seeing that name, but that doesn't mean much. Let me pop over here. Oh, wow. Now you know I've lost my mind. I'm over here on mousing on this computer, expecting the pointer to move over here and do what I said it to do. I have been working too long. You know how weird it is to try to scroll through and find yourself on somebody's list? It's just weird. Oh yeah, she subscribed to a lot of people like I am. Let's do it this way. Ah, oh, there I am. Okay. Couldn't find it on that other list very easily, but she is publicly subscribed to me. There is my face with my little kitty cat. So, let me go back to that page. Miss Donna, email me, description box below. You have won your own package of a shebang, which is wrapped up like this. This is how Chris uh, wrapped it up to ship it so that it would stay safe. Mine was like this too. This one is the OG. This one is the shebang. Okay. And uh, this one, still sealed on the top, is the fire. So, Miss Donna, we got you there. Okay, now... We're going to see who did flames. Okay. 24 people wanted that flame. All right. We got some heat seekers out there. Gonna hit the start. You can watch the name sort of zip on by. Okay. What came up was Gwen Sarles. Let me see. Let me see. I don't understand why I can't search down there. It drives me a little bit bonkers. Just a little bit.
I'm scrolling through the comments um, on my page for that one. Looking for Miss Yes, yeah, she was also early, so um, hitting that button there and leaving a comment. Oh, she's been subscribed to me forever. See, right there, nine months. That's next to forever on YouTube. So Gwen, get ready to light it up with 13 flames of fire. Got to let me know how you like it. Thanks to everybody for participating. This has been awesome. I really appreciate y'all. I know it's not crochet and the crafty stuff, but we all eat, right? You probably heard cooking sounds. My hubby right now is cooking some onions and some king oyster mushrooms and whatever else he decides to throw in there because we're hungry and it's time to do some eating. And I may go shake some of this on there because it's so blasted good. Thank you so much. Leave a comment down below. Congratulate our three winners and um, talk to you very, very soon. Bye, y'all.